सो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल लर्न विद गिग्स इफ यू आर वॉचिंग द वीडियो फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम ऑन दिस चैनल दैन डू सब्सक्राइब इट एंड हिट द बेल आइकन टू स्टे अपडेटेड विद ऑल द कमिंग यूजफुल वीडियोज ओके इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस विद यू वॉट पॉइंट्स यू शुड कीप इन योर माइंड टू मैनेज योर एक्सपीरियंस रियल एक्सपीरियंस विच इज देयर इन सम अदर डोमेन टू द डेटा एनालिटिक्स डोमेन स्पेशली शोइंग फॉर पावर बी आई इन द पावर बी आई इंटरव्यूज ओके सो दैट इज वॉट यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन पॉइंट्स टू कंसिडर टू मैनेज योर करेंट टू योर रियल एक्सपीरियंस इन सम अदर डोमेन टू पावर बी आई ओके सो अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ पीपल हु आर वर्किंग इन अ पर्टिकुलर डोमेन वॉन्ट टू स्विच देयर डोमेन टू पावर बी आई रीजन मे बी दे आर फ्रस्ट्रेटेड विद योर वर्क एग्जिस्टिंग वर्क मे बी दे वॉन्ट टू अर्न मोर विदाउट गोइंग टू द कोडिंग पार्ट मे बी सम अदर रीजन अल्टीमेटली दे वॉन्ट टू अपग्रेड देयर सेल देम सेल्स सो दैट दे कैन कंपीट विद द मार्केट ट्रेंड ओके ओके सो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू नीड टू सी वट्स योर डेसिग्नेशन इन योर करेंट कंपनी सो इज इट सम जनरल टर्म लाइक एसोसिएट और असिस्टेंट सिस्टम इंजीनियर और एनालिस्ट और कंसल्टेंट और सिंपली सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर बिकॉज दिस इज वॉट दैट वुड बी मैंशन ऑन योर एक्सपीरियंस लेटर वेन यू विल रिजाइन फ्रॉम योर करेंट कंपनी not the work that you have done there remember this your designation is written there your start date your end date okay and your designation not the role or the work that you have performed there okay so it is always good if you have general designation then you don't have to justify it and you can easily perform or tell any kind of role under that designation in the interviews okay i have included this point just to be safe from every angle okay so don't worry if you do not qualify in this thing okay so you can easily clarify by saying that even if my designation is this and that i was put in a project based on data and, an and analytics which included power bi as the reporting tool okay so in this way you can clarify if you don't have the designation like this okay now this is the first point the next thing is that you need to keep in your mind is that if you have overall overall 3 years of experience or 4 or even 5 years of experience you should not show or tell your relevant experience in power bi more than 2 years this is my opinion keep it limited to 2 years as you know that you don't have the real experience in this okay and expectations in the interviews will be more if you show more okay if you show the relevant experience more than 2 uh, years so the expectations will be more right and as a two year if you show two year you could handle the questions based on your learnings and finally get recruited and also the other leftover years of experience you should be in a domain that pertains to data or data analysis this also you have to keep in your mind okay so this is the second thing that you have to keep in your mind now let's move to the third point that is if interviewer ask you about your project and the details Then how will you handle this? As you don't have real project-based experience in Power BI, right? As you have just learnt it, okay? So for that, what you could say that you have signed a NDA. NDA means a non-disclosure agreement with your client, and as per that agreement, you can't dis disclose the project information to others. And then adding to this, you could say, but definitely I can tell you about my roles and responsibilities in the project, and then start telling those and if you have to tell the roles and responsibility then you will only be able to tell that once if you have done or completed few power bi projects yourself okay you have learned it yourself okay so in this way you are convincing the interviewer to focus on your roles and responsibilities instead of directing to the project details and once you succeed in this you will feel much more comfortable in answering the other questions as those will be based on your actual learnings okay so this is the third thing that you have to keep in your mind and the final thing is that you need to focus on is your knowledge in power bi and related skills you have to have deep knowledge you should do at least 4 to 5 projects while lear learning you should complete those yourself and you should be ready and willing to put in more hours more and more hours to learn it once you get recruited also else you will not be able to survive in that company so please do take this decision of changing the domain and showing it as real experience in power bi carefully and when you are fully confident about it okay and for your information if you check out this channel you will find a good number of videos related to power bi sql and data warehousing which can be useful and helpful for you while you are planning to switch or learning the same okay 
I have provided the playlist links in the description box. You could check out those easily. Okay. So that's it for this video. I hope you like the content. You like the points that I have mentioned. Okay. So do hit the like button if you like it. And thank you and stay tuned for the upcoming videos.